When you think of Halo, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it the heroic Master Chief? Or maybe it's the relentless Covenant Empire? Or perhaps even the unstoppable parasites known collectively as the Flood? Or maybe, just maybe, it's all in the title itself. Those galaxy-destroying ring worlds that sparked a gaming generation. But you know what they say, right? You never forget your first. Say what? What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here, and I do want to give a fair warning to you before you start watching this video. I will be discussing Halo Wars 2 spoilers, so if you haven't already played it and you still want to be surprised, stop here and come back after you've beaten the campaign. Normally I wouldn't take the time to give this warning, but since it's only been out for three weeks as of the date of this video, I don't want to ruin anything for you. Alright? Good. So if there's one thing we know about the Halo series, oftentimes it comes full circle. Uh, no pun intended. Let's first look at Halo 3. Now, we all know how the series started, at least in terms of the order the games were released, and that's on the Halo Ring Installation 04. In Halo 3, we find ourselves on the Ark, otherwise known as Installation 00, a massive Forerunner structure capable of building Halo Rings and sending them to various locations across our galaxy. At the conclusion of Halo 3, the Ark constructs Installation 04B as a replacement for the original ring, which was destroyed in Halo Combat Evolved. So the original trilogy, in a sense, finishes where the series actually started. Again, in a sense. Now let's look at Halo Reach. Again, we see a beautiful display of how the developers behind it like bringing things to a full circle. In this case, the game ends where the first game picks up, with Installation 04. All right, now let's fast forward to the present day Halo universe and the Reclaimer saga. While I realize there's been some debate on whether the next major Halo title will indeed bring the saga to a close, I can tell you that it most certainly will. I didn't say that it would be the last Halo game, but rather a close to the current story arc. I mean, come on, 343's already having enough trouble as is keeping both Halo and their own reputations above water. The last thing they want to do is end the next title with yet another to be continued so that the fans have to wait another three years just to see the story's conclusion. So let's at least get that part straight. Having said that, let's take a look at the legendary ending to Halo 5 Guardians. What do we see? We see at least what appears to be now galactic Empress Cortana reactivating at least one of the Halo rings. And at first glance, this could really be any of the rings. As far as we know, there are at least six others out there, and Installation 03 has been the topic of conversation for at least two other games and one book. But here's the problem. It's still an installation we don't really care about. I mean, sure, the curiosity is most definitely there, in fact, I'm sure most of us would love the opportunity to visit all the other installations, but if 343 is keeping up with their current pattern, there just isn't enough time to do that, at least not effectively, in a single game. That is unless they go with my suggestion and not only make the game more open world, but also more open universe. And it's certainly possible, but doubts on that are indeed high. It's hard to imagine this would simply be a random Halo ring either. That's way too lazy for a Halo game, but up until recently, we really hadn't received any clues as to what its significance actually is, at least until now. Fast forwarding to Halo Wars 2, we find ourselves once again at the Ark, but this time, it's only a short time following the events of Halo 5 Guardians. Yes, the same Ark that was in Halo 3, but now it's a few years later, how do we know this? Because it's addressed in-game that this place is indeed the same one that was visited by the Master Chief years before. And while in Halo 3 we were initially given the impression that the Ark was severely damaged by the Master Chief's actions, we learn in Halo Wars 2 that it's still plenty capable of constructing additional Halo rings. We also learn another interesting fact. The Ark can only send Halo rings to one of the original seven locations. This gives the crew aboard the Spirit of Fire an idea. Make another Halo ring and send it to the same location as the ring in the first game, close enough to reach where a distress beacon can be dropped for the purpose of a rescue. 
As the game progresses, the scientist aboard the Spirit of Fire, Dr. Ellen Anders, successfully managed to have the Ark's foundry complete the ring and launch it. On a side note, most of the ring had pretty much already been built as a replacement for Installation 04B, which was destroyed by the Master Chief back in Halo 3, making this ring Installation 04C. On top of that, the plan was to send the Halo ring through slip space back to the location of the original Installation 04. At the end of Halo Wars 2, Dr. Anders, while still inside the ring's control room, does manage to successfully launch the ring into slip space. But here's where things get interesting. At some point during the ring's journey, it drops out of slip space, supposedly before reaching its destination. Where exactly? We're not sure. Could have been somewhere close to the intended destination, or it could be somewhere considerably further away. And when Anders steps outside to investigate, she's greeted by, get this, an immense, towering guardian under the control of Cortana. So at this point, we now know the crew aboard the Spirit of Fire and even quite possibly the Banished will have some sort of influence in Halo 6. Whether or not they'll play a major role is still a mystery, but one thing is for certain, these games are definitely connected and Installation 04C will play some type of role in Halo 6. How much of a role? We really don't know yet. But if 343 is trying to follow suit with Bungie's universe at all, we'll likely be seeing at least a mission or two dedicated to our favorite Halo installation. So are you looking forward to venturing out onto Installation 04C in Halo 6? And what are your biggest hopes and wishes for the next major Halo installment? Please feel free to let me know in the comments below, or you can hit me up on both Facebook and Twitter. Links to my social media sites can be found in the description below, and if you like this video, please be sure to share it with your friends, or if you hated it, send it to them anyway for maximum trollage. And if you want to see more, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more video game related content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on MythicTower.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.